There's matchmaking, and then there's lobby balance. They're two separate things. Matchmaking finds the players. Lobby balance says, okay, you on this team, you on that team, you on this team, you on that team. Zero fire teams. Sweet, this is gonna be a fair match. This is what we're looking at after they separate the groups, right? This will be a fair competitive match. Zero fire teams on the enemy team. Zero fire teams on my team. Odds of winning. The best live streams, the best gaming videos, and the best damn viewers. Badass. So, let's talk. If you've ever worked in uh, any business that does any sort of analytics, then what you do is you use analytics. It's like trying to solve a murder, right? Clues can paint a picture as to what is actually going on. So what I did for you over the weekend is I played over 50 matches of Trials of Osiris. Over 50. Destiny Tracker will give you the results of the last 50. And hey, I went on a cool little win streak right here. But it was pretty fucking brutal. Loss, 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 loss. We're talking solo queue, by the way. We're not talking me getting a stacked team of three. We're talking solo queue. I, listen, I got more pussy than I have in my entire life in trials going solo. Just three pussies in a row on the enemy team. Giving it to me. Holy shit. It was brutal. We're going to look at each and every one of these. And there's something I want to do. Because. We all know Trials of Osiris. They enabled solo players to join. Fire teams of two to join. We all know that. Um, I can't complain too much about being matched up against a team of three. For instance, this last match. Team of three. Three solos. Everybody knows. Everybody knows that that's a shitty experience. Nobody doubts that. In fact, Bungie, in their infinite wisdom, had said, ha, huh, you know what? We should do something about that. It only took them over a year. But hey. They said they're going to fix that. Prioritize fire teams of three going up against fire teams of three. So I can't, I can't shit talk that too much anymore because it's a dead issue. What I do want to shit talk, people ask me, hey, badass, why? Why? Why do you say things like Destiny 2 PvP is the worst fucking multiplayer in the history of video games? Why do you say stuff like that? Are you just mad because bad? No. No, I'm fucking not. I say that because there are issues in the game that prevent the game from working properly. So, badass, if, if they're getting rid of going up against fire teams of three, then what's the problem? Two years ago. This is literally two years old. And I've been talking about matchmaking being bad for two fucking years. I'm sure there's I'm sure there's other rants in other videos. For sure. For sure. I've been talking about how Destiny's matchmaking and lobby balance is completely fucked up and broken for over 2 years. 2 fucking years I've been talking about it. So, what I want to show you is that even next season when they make fire teams of three match against fire teams of three, that's not going to solve all the problems. That's just going to go back to what it was before, where fire teams are, it's trials, fire team versus fire team. Um, but as a solo player, as a solo player and as a duo, a fire team of two, and this goes for six versus six as well, when you 
click on matchmaking, start match, and matchmaking starts doing the algorithm and starts doing the thing. There is code there. There's an algorithm there. There is data there that decides who you play against. I want to show you that it's not, it's not 100% completely random. We keep hearing that RNG random. It's not, it may be at times, but it is not. In fact, Bungie has said that if you go on a losing streak, if you go on a long losing streak, they will purposely set you up with an easy match. That is manipulating who you play against. And if you think that they don't manipulate it in other ways, then you're foolish. You are literally a fucking fool. It is not fair play. Just whatever happens, happens. Whether it's skill-based matchmaking, connection-based matchmaking, it is not 100% unbiased. If so, you would see a whole lot more randomness than what you see in these games. So let's just take a look. Let's just, let's just make a chart here. Our team opponent fire team me odds of winning result there we go all right we're just gonna start at the bottom here we go game one bravo enemy team Me solos, odds of winning, 6%. Result, hey, it was a loss. Cool. Game two, uh, me, okay, a fire team opponent, two, me, zero. Alpha had a 56, so I had a 44% chance of winning. Result, L, <laughs> go figure. That's, that's interesting. What we got? Uh, fire team of three, sweet. My, my team is a, it's a zero, cool. Uh, I actually quit out on this game. This, this was a rage quit, as you can see. Four and three, one and seven, zero and seven. This was an exercise in futility. Odds of winning this game were Zero percent. Cool. Result was, uh, I don't know, L. Cool. All right, next game. So, uh, fire team of three. Me? No fire team. Uh, odds of winning, a zero. Cool, cool, cool. Result was, say it with me, chat, L. Cool. Cool. All right. Game six. This is going well. Game six. Cool. All right. All right. We've got a fire team of two. We've got a no fire teams for me. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Couldn't find any. No other teams. No other fire teams were playing Destiny, by the way. Alpha had a 93% chance of winning. So I had a, sorry, 7% chance of winning. Result was, say it with me, L. Cool. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, again, fire team of three. Again, zero. Odds of winning, two. Two percent. L. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Here comes a win. We've suffered enough. Hand them a win. Matchmaking algorithm. Hand them a win. Uh, our opponent team, fire team of three. Me is zero. Odds of winning were. 25%. Wow. What happened? We actually won that game. We actually won that game. What happened? Oh, I happened. That's what happened. Nine and two. That's what happened. And that's why they give me the scrubs. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Game 10. What do we got? Game 10, team of three, sweet. I didn't see that one coming. Uh, me, fire team, nope. Okay, odds of winning, 9% chance. Uh, the results were, hmm, an L. 
Opponent has a fire team of two. I have a fire team of zero. Odds of winning. Hey, just like the amount of fire teams on my team. Zero. Uh, I have a fire team. Sweet. Fire team of two. Odds of winning. 80 percent and it is a dub give it up for me i did it single-handedly all right now back to the losses uh hey i quit out fire team of three uh we have no fire teams odds of winning was 14 percent Result was an hearty L. Fire team has our opponents fire team of two. Me a fire team of zero. Odds of winning. Uh we actually had a 91% chance of winning this game, correct? Correct. And we did. Alright. So that was this one. So here comes the loss. Round 15. Uh, opponent fire team of three. Hey, this was a fun game, by the way. This was a fun game. Pretty sure these. No, I'm not going to say that out loud. Uh, I had a fire team of zero. Sorry. Three. Zero. Odds of winning. I should probably check to see if the stream is doing good. All right, everybody's still there. Odds of winning. Uh, a zero. Uh, result was an L. Cool. Why didn't you? Why didn't you play better, badass? Why didn't you play better? Why didn't you play better? Oh, I played the best. That's right. Uh, zero fire teams. Zero fire teams. Odds of winning. We had a 62% chance to win. And we, hey, we pulled out the victory. Yes. It's almost like it doesn't matter. All right, back to the losses. 17. Fire team of three. Awesome. My, I get a fire team of zero. Sweet. Uh, also, uh, we had a 10% to win. Sweet. And it was an L. Cool. This was, yeah, this, this was a game I just couldn't handle anymore. Fire team of three. Uh, we had a fire team of two. You know, they, they had, we had a 1% chance of winning. And I just said, fuck this shit. I'm out, literally, and left. And it was a, a loss. I hate to say it, but it, it was indeed a loss. So game 20. Fire team of three. We had a fire team of two. And now I'm just on, I'm just on a rage quit roll right now, right? I'm just on a rage quit roll. One of, like, I, I can't handle it. I can't handle, I, I literally can't handle 13% odds every game I play of winning. 2% odds, 1%, 10% odds of winning. Actually, we had a 77% chance of winning. And we lost. So this is an outlier. Did not go the way the game wanted. Or thought. I wonder why. It's almost like teamwork makes the dream work. It's almost like communication. Right? I, I couldn't do shit. Fire team of three. We had a fire team of two. Odds of winning were 59. And we pulled it out. So fire team of two on the other team. We have a zero fire team. We had a 78% chance of winning and it indeed was a win. Uh, we had zero fire teams. They had a two. We had a 0% chance of, of winning. I knew that when I loaded in based on how my two bronze teammates played. Why, why not give me this guy? 0% uh, chance and we lost. Uh, fire team of three. We had a fire team of zero. 
we had a 52% chance of winning. The result was we won. Opponents had a fire team of zero. We had a fire team of zero. Odds of winning were 23% chance of winning. And the results were we lost. Fire team of three. Fire team of zero. We had a 37% chance of winning, and we won. This is an outlier. Cool. Good job, team. What happened? Whose milk happened? I played piss poor. 31. Fire team of three. We had a fire team of zero. Uh, odds of winning were 7%. And it was indeed an L. Cool, cool, cool. Team of two. We had a team of zero. Odds of winning were uh, 22. Sweet. I like those odds, chat. And it was an L. Unfortunately, unfortunately uh, we couldn't handle it. Sweet. So this one is a stack of two. This is a stack of zero. This is uh, odds of winning. We had an 8% chance of winning. And it was indeed an L. Now this, I remember this game. I remember this game. This game... This game illustrates kind of what I'm getting at here, right? So you're seeing what matchmaking is doing, and you're also seeing lobby balance at work, right? Or the lack of fairness. The lack of, you know, like if Destiny Tracker can calculate your odds of winning, this isn't this isn't random. Randomness would kind of go back and forth, right? So these guys played really well, right? Fire team of two playing really well, okay? So, next match, fire team of two, right? So next match, I go up the, against them again. Fire team of two, same, same team. Fire team of two, I now have a fire team of two. Odds of winning are still fucking 4%. And what happened? We lost, so, so watch this, right? This guy on my team, Graxa FPS, right? He's an 1820. Couldn't do shit against these guys, right? 1906, 21. Look at this team. If you were to add these numbers up, going against these guys, right? So then this guy, Graxa, then goes on their team the next game, and I get these guys. Why, why couldn't he go back on my team? And we're going to talk about card-based matchmaking here in a minute. Uh, so this is game 35. I know, I know that's going to be everybody's excuse here is card-based matchmaking, right? This is these are all game ones, by the way. You can, I mean, I'm resetting my card when I lose, especially on game one, right? So these are all game ones. Uh, this is zero fire teams. This is zero fire teams. This is uh, we had a 40% chance to win. And the result was an L. So 36. Fire team of three. Sweet. Zero. Chances of odds of winning are 37. And it was an L. Cool, 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 cool. Now imagine being a player and going through this, by the way. That's that's we're gonna talk about this, chat. Fire team of three. Fire team of zero. 8% chance to win. Result? NL. Okay. 38. We're almost home. Uh, fire team of two. Fire team of zero. It's almost like there's a pattern going on here, right? You can see patterns, can't you? Can't you see? Can't you see some patterns? 19%. All right. 39. What do we got for 39? What do we got for 39? Cool, cool, cool. Fire team of three. Fire team of zero. 
odds of winning. Well, let's talk about this because Killajilla rage quit on me. Our best player died twice, and the minute he died, he bailed. So, I don't know if we should asterisk that or not, because this was a 0% chance of winning in all reality. This guy, I mean, he quit. I can't say anything because I've done it. So I want to be consistent. I get it. Uh, we'll say odds of winning teammate quit. So it's a 0% chance of winning. We're, we'll just leave that. What do we got for 40? Uh, fire table three. Fire table zero. No other fire teams are playing, by the way, Chet. Zero. No other fire teams are playing. I know you've seen some on the opponent's team, like right here, but none of those guys are playing when it comes when it comes to match with me, right? We have a 1% chance of winning, and the result is indeed an L. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. 41. 10 more. We're about to hit that win streak. Uh, zero fire teams. Sweet. This is going to be a fair match. This is what we're looking at after they separate the groups, right? This will be a fair competitive match. Zero fire teams on the enemy team. Zero fire teams on my team. Odds of winning. 10. Result. L. Ha. Huh. So, so you mean to tell me, so you mean to tell me even after, even after they separate the pools of players, right? And solos and, and duos are going up against only solos and duos, or even if they make a solo only playlist, th this is fair, right? This is a fair matchup. The game in all of its infinite wisdom said, you know what? 1951, 1800. Let's put him against a 950. And hey, we'll give him this guy too. He's close, right? A 1040 and a 950. That's only, you know, like 90 off, right? They play the same. They're basically the same player, right? Right? Well, the difference is a bad player on a good team, a good team can do better than a bad player on a lower team, right? It's a team game. The, the Destiny Tracker knows ahead of time the results of this match. 42. Fire team of three. Sweet. Fire team of zero. Sweet. Odds of winning. 15%. Wow, those are better odds. Those are better odds than I was thinking. Huh. It's almost like the 1951, the person that's closest to these guys, can't even do anything. I mean, I'm playing just as well as a 1951, right? Right? Oh, this this was a fun match. This was a fun match. I remember this match. This was a fun one. This one put a smile on my face. This one made me happy. Destiny finally found a fire team. Sorry, I have a fire team of two. Destiny finally found me a fire team. My hopes and prayers were finally answered and they gave me a fire team of... Against a... Ha. Huh. Odds of winning... Say it with me. Zero. Result... We won that game. Just kidding. You're a dumbass if you think this game's winnable. And that's really what it comes down to. That's really what this comes down to. 44. We got zero fire teams. Zero fire teams. We have a 41% chance of winning. The result is... Actually, yeah. The result is an L. Okay, 45, here comes a winning streak. Let's see 
Let's see if any of these go against the odds. 46. Zero fire teams. Zero fire teams. Alpha had a 94% chance of winning. 90 fucking 4% chance of winning this game. A 94% chance. When I see this, this starts to make me wonder if this is that matchmaking manipulation that they talked about. It might not be. It might just be we kicked ass, right? I did terrible. I got carried. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I got carried. This was the first game of the day for me. It was rusty. Got carried. Cool. I finally get carried. 46 losses later. Uh, fire team is zero. Fire team is zero. Odds are 66%. Uh, the odds are ever in my favor, and we won. So this is no fire teams. No fire teams. This is... Uh, we had an 85% chance of winning. Yeah, matchmaking is definitely handing me wins right now. You can just see it in the odds. The odds of winning right? You don't think Bungie has those numbers? You don't think Bungie knows that? Bungie has their own form of ELO. It's not the same as Destiny Tracker. They have their own version of rating players. And if you don't think they use that information, then you're foolish. They, they have said that they use that information. Skill-based matchmaking was a thing not too long ago. Uh, we, zero, uh, fire team of two, we have zero fire teams Odds of winning, Alpha, we have a 91% chance of winning, and it was a W. So, again, matchmaking, handing us those wins. So, fire team of three, here come the losses. Fire team of zero. Odds of winning, 4%. Result is a heavy, heavy L. Surprise, surprise. Fire team of three. Fire team is zero. Odds of winning. Zero. L. All right. So why am I doing this? What's the big deal? It's just a video game. I'm trying to show you the problem with this game and why it sucks to play so bad so often. All right. Let's, let's talk about what these numbers mean. And I know this isn't the most appealing way to show this, but this, this is what, from a player's perspective, this is the experience. And what I was thinking about doing, this is trials. And I know there's, let's, let's address the elephant in the room first of all. People are going to say, it's trials, it's solo queue. You know, they're eventually going to fix that next season when they allow a solo queue. Okay, really? Because my complaint about matchmaking has been in six for six, not trials. My personal belief is that the same types of matchmaking that is in effect, they don't have a completely unique form of matchmaking for trials. They didn't reinvent the wheel for trials, right? It still uses some of the same code. It still uses some of the same parameters. It still finds the same players. It still does the same lobby balance and sorting. They still use the same ELO, all that stuff, right? So you're going to have some overlap. And my issue is my biggest complaint with Destiny is from a player's perspective, PVP, which is half of the game, as great as PVE is, PVP is a large chunk of the game. And if you, if you go with a stacked fire team, you're going to have a much better time, which is why people do that. But there are solo players out there. There are fire teams of two out there, and they are at the mercy of a bad, bad, bad matchmaking and lobby balance system. And if you don't fix that, then it's going to be miserable for people, whether you're in Gambit, right? If you, if you don't believe what I'm saying, I dare you. I dare you to go to Destiny Tracker. I dare you to type in your own name. And I dare you to look up your last 50 matches. And just look. And just look at your odds of winning. Just look at your odds of winning. Uh, solo, by the way. Solo. 
I'll call those out in a minute. Thank you very much. I'm not ignoring them, but I just want to get through this. I'll call those out in a minute. Go into, and I'm going to do this later. Uh, maybe not tonight, maybe tomorrow, maybe another day this week. But I'm going to go into 6 for 6 solo. And I'm going to show you that it's just as bad over there. People, before trials, there was comp. Where you could solo queue and comp. Iron Banner, solo queue. Are you guys having a good time in Iron Banner solo queue? You having a good time six for six solo queuing? You having a good time gambit solo queuing? You having a good time cop elimination whatever it is solo queuing? Are you? Am I is am I the only one experiencing this? So this is why I'm talking about this because next season next season solo Q. Cool. Q U E U U E. Q U E. Cool. All right. So, uh, let's do this first. Let's add up these numbers. All right. Uh, games against a fire team without a fire team. So this is one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sorry, aneurysm. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32. Games where I went up against a fire team and I didn't have a fire team, 32. RNG. Cool. By the way, this is, uh, let's just get this out here real quick. This is PC and PS5. I went back and forth. Games with a fire team against no fire teams. How about that stat? What is that one? So this is where I had a fire team and there was no fire team on the enemy team. One. One. Where was that game? What was the result of that game? I was put on a fire team against no fire teams exactly one time in 50 games. I'll laugh if it was a loss. There it is. <laughs> Does this make 
makes sense, chat. Do you guys, I'm gonna, there's a little bit more I wanna dive into with this, but do you guys see why I'm doing this? Right? Can't have a bad time with matchmaking if you don't play. But that's, that's what everybody's doing. Um, the point in doing this is if you don't, like, if, if Bungie cannot come up with a better matchmaking system, a better way of lobby balance, there's matchmaking and then there's lobby balance. They're two separate things. Matchmaking finds the players. Lobby balance says, okay, you on this team, you on that team, you on this team, you on that team. And it is what is 100% rigged. Like, look at these stats. 6% chance. 0% chance. 0% chance. And I know, I know there are going to be people out there that says, this is trials. Again, go to Destiny Tracker. Play one hour of solo 6 for 6 Solo. Solo 6 for 6 Do it in Iron Banner. Do it in 6 for 6 Do it not Mayhem. Not any of that other stuff. Do regular Crucible. Iron Banner. 6 for 6 Comp. Do solo, uh, solo queue and see what you get. It's based on your own performance and your own history. How many matches against odds? I mean, this guy, look. Okay, so this is not from my perspective. This is from this player's perspective. And I, I understand that he may not be a good player. But, but seriously... This isn't fair to this guy. It's not fair to this guy. It's not fair to this guy. It's not fair to this guy. Look at this. This this is like 92%. This isn't even me. This this <laughs> Weren't they saying like 5-0 blowouts are down and stuff, right? Like, why are you putting these two people on this team? Who thought that was a good idea? Why? Because this guy's a 17-18? So this is something I was going to say. You know, if the thought out there is we can't put these guys on this guy's team because that would be unfair. What do you think this is? You think this is fair? You think this is fair for players? There's, there's got to be a better way. And even if I am 100% wrong of all that I'm saying, this is not good. This is not good for any player playing this game. So next season is solo queue. Okay, well, let's see what we got next season. Games with no fire teams. So this is what you're looking at with solo queue as well. 83. 62, that's that's pretty competitive. 94. 84. These are some high numbers. 10%. 23%. So, my issue is that even when they adjust trials this next season, you got Iron Banner solo queue out there. You've got Comp solo queue. You've got people that solo queue in Gambit. You've got quick play, six for six solo queue. When I talk about how bad Destiny 2 PvP is, even if you don't talk about the meta, even if you don't talk about balance, even if you don't talk about cheeses, if you even if you don't talk about all those things, it's just it's just a shit experience most of the time. You're set up to fail. It just sucks. What, what's your experience? Go in solo. What's your experience like? Do you want to play PvP solo? And if they're not going to fix it, and if they're not going to do anything, then why even have it? At this point, what are we doing here in PvP? You're forcing people to go in there to be miserable? So I just wanted to show some numbers because um, there's a lot of people out there. When you watch people play Trials, when, when you watch people play 6 for 6 when you see people do well, when you see a stack team walking around teabagging, a bunch of pussies, three stack going up against a fire team of zero, three solo players going up against a stack team who has a 94% uh, chance of winning and you're teabagging like a little pussy bitch. 
right? That that's that's the destiny experience. It's so fucking garbage. I can't stress that enough. And it's not because I'm not a good player. I could be the best player in the game. In fact, there are if you go to Destiny Tracker, you're going to find really good players that refuse to play solo because of this shit. So it just increases the fact that these good players are going to have other good teammates who are then going to stomp players. If you can't get this shit right, this is not an indie studio that was just founded two years ago. All right. This is a game studio that is celebrating their 30th year in business. Imagine Apple saying one day we'll figure out how to make phone calls. Why, why do they get a pass? Why does this shit get a pass? Microsoft will figure out how to make an operating system that actually works one of these days. Keep buying it. Keep upgrading it. We'll figure it out. One of these days, your computer will turn on and run. Another insert joke there, right? Ford and Chevy. Imagine Ford and Chevy being like, we just don't know how to make an engine anymore, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Your car just doesn't work half the time. 99% of the time. 30 years. 30 fucking years. Sorry, you don't get an excuse for this shit. This is, this is, this is garbage. This is garbage. And if I were to, I'm going to go into quick play one of these days and maybe I'll, I'll tack this on to the end of the video. I'm going to go into quick play and you're going to see the same shit because it uses the same matchmaking and same lobby balance and you're going against the same players, same skill levels, same metas. And, and, and by the way, I don't feel this. I don't experience this in any other game. I don't, I don't feel this way in any other game. The fact that no matter what I do, I'm fucked. There is no way. Listen, there is no way these hundred percent games, these, uh, zero percent chance of winning. There's no way you win this. There's no way. The only way is to send those people a message saying, please quit out and give us the win. It doesn't matter how good I get. That's an unwinnable game. That's, that's the fucking problem. It's an unwinnable fucking game. Even the 10%, the 20% games. It's unfucking winnable. Six percent. Well, that's, that's trials. That's trials, badass. That's trials. 92. 92. A 92% chance. Monty's not having it. What 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 is he, what is he supposed to do here? Like what is what is the philosophy here? What is this what is this lobby balance? What is this? Somebody explain this to me. Like like are they fucking high? 66% chance bravo. Uh people quitting out. Like even good players are, you're going to struggle when the deck is stacked against you. 54. This guy quit out. So the, I mean, this is why people are quitting out so much in these games. What else we got? 74. 74. Sweet. 75, sweet. 78, sweet. This is not a petition for skill-based matchmaking. I think it's neat. I think skill-based matchmaking is needed and competitive. But I think uh, lobby balance should be a whole lot better. 70, There's there's got to be a better way to organize teams. 92! What? What? Look at Monty. Look at Monty riding. Riding along with these virgins. My point with even doing this video, and this is what I'm trying to show, is you can't escape 
bad matchmaking and bad lobby balance just because of the mode you play. It's why people are frustrated in Gambit. It's why people are frustrated in Iron Banner. It's why people are frustrated in Trials. It's why people are frustrated in Quick Play. It's why even when they come out with a different queue for Trials, it's still going to be bad. You, you'll, you will never get me to believe that you cannot sort teams better than 98 fucking percent. You just can't. You can't get me to believe that. And this is why people like Monty, like me, like so many other people, this is why we quit out. It's an unwinnable game. It's an unwinnable fucking game. Ninety nine. Eighty nine. Like, would you want to play this? Even if this game has your favorite weapon, your absolute favorite God roll weapon. You you have to go into a match knowing that you have a 99% chance of losing and getting shit on in that game. What are you going to do? It's going to sit in your vault. Look at all this quit out. Look at all this quit out over here. There's just people bailing. This is why you get thrown into matches in progress. Because it's shit. It's, it's actual dog shit. It's actually like, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Are we doing 12, 12 first 12 now in destiny? Oh, that's because everybody's quitting out because they're not having fun. 77. Sweet. Anyway, I just, I wanted to point that out because when I talk about how bad crucible is, it's bad before you ever decide what guns you're going to lose. It doesn't matter what season it is. It doesn't matter what mode you play. It, it just doesn't matter. The only way around it is to get a fire team of other sweats or other players so that you're not at the mercy of, of matchmaking, which is what everybody's doing. And the solo players, the casuals, the people that are playing for fun, those people are not playing anymore. That population has died down because they never fixed the problem. The other thing is, I, I, I hope you guys will agree with me that it didn't used to always be this bad. Part of that is declining player population. Part of that is lack of content. Um, part of that is when something is so bad for so long, these players are now grouping up into teams, uh, growing toxicity, all that kind of stuff. Problems when they're not addressed snowball into bigger problems. And it's why I've been voicing this shit for so long. Because when you don't address the problem, it creates bigger problems and bigger problems and bigger problems. And it's almost it gets almost impossible to fix overnight. I don't know how they solve that. I've got some ideas, but you don't pay me to give you all my ideas. You steal them anyway, but you don't pay me for it. So it needs to be addressed. It needs to be fixed. Um, I may post that video. You can agree. You can disagree. Uh, doesn't matter to me, but when you want me to explain why I call the game dog shit and a bad experience, exhibit a, 